I've done plenty of Pixar versus episodes in the past, but this is going to be the emotional one, folks. It's Wally versus Up. Grab a tissue. I don't know why I whispered that. Let's get this party rolling with the cast of Wally. And what better place to start than with the titular character himself? Wally is one of the most lovable animated characters of the last decade. His mannerisms and sounds are so well crafted, you really feel like he's a living, breathing thing. He's a resourceful, productive, and curious little chap. If he was a monkey, his name would be George. Curious George. Eve is the apple to Wally's Windows PC. She's slick, simple yet beautiful, and a bit of a loose cannon. She starts as a typical robot, merely following protocol. But soon that all changes when Wally wins her robotic heart over. Eventually we're introduced to more characters, a zany list of third string robots, and some heavyweight humans. But it's really about these two. Notable voice work includes comedian Jeff Garland as the captain, and Pixar favorite John Ratzenberger playing one of our obese humans. He also has a part in Up as well, as one of the construction workers early on. Pixar likes themselves some John Ratz in Burger. I don't know why I shortened that. I don't know why I shortened anything. My girl Sigourney Weave also has a small role as the ship's computer, but the film is actually at its best when the talking is minimal and we get to see our robots interact with each other and the environment around them. Up's main protag is Carl Fredrickson, voiced by legendary actor Ed Asner. Carl is a man whose better days are behind him. He's a grumpy, ill-tempered hermit that wants nothing to do with others. In order to get this guy out of his shell, Pixar has introduced a great cast of supporting characters. We have a boy named Russell, who wants nothing more than to win one of those Wilderness Explorer badges. We have a hilarious dog named Doug who can talk via voice box. And he says hilarious- Hey, squirrel! My personal favorite though is the weird tropical bird named Kevin. Seeing Carl venture through the jungles with these three guys is simply a joy to watch. Christopher Plummer plays our villain here, Explorer Charles Mutz. But I almost wish they didn't even introduce a bad guy. Wally had one as well in the form of a self-aware computerized ship, but it was very short and I think it worked there and I think it would have worked great in Up. Wally. Up's first 10 minutes is one of the saddest things put on screen. It's a touching sequence that takes us through Carl's entire life. The moment he met his wife as a kid, the first adventures they went on, the realization they couldn't have children, and eventually her death. He lost his wife. Why is this so sad, Pixar? <laughs> this ingenious piece of storytelling almost works against Up as it's the highlight of the movie and it's in the first 10 to 15 minutes. So everything preceding it is a little bit downhill. Not bad, just worse. It's also extremely adult. So when we get to a sequence where there's dogs talking and flying planes, it feels very disjointed. Like who's this movie for? The good obviously far outweighs the bad though and up. Watching Carl find himself again with his hilarious cast of characters I mean, that's enough. That's enough right there. Wally falls into a lot of those same trappings. The first hour is a work of art, plain and simple. It's a film that has more meaning and love behind it than most of the cookie cutter crap we see out of Hollywood. I could watch that little guy scour the earth for hours just tinkering with things he finds. The ending of both tales tie things together very nicely. I love how Wally made the humans more robotic than the robots themselves. You can tell there was a conscious decision to make the humans more cartoonish in looks. They lost themselves a long time ago and Wally saves them all. It wasn't for them though. I mean, it wasn't. He did it for love. He did it for Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so sad, Pixar? Up ends as glorious as it starts. Carl realizes his life wasn't over, just the first chapter. Everything is just amazing, and it truly makes you appreciate life and people and everything. Jesus Christ! What the f are you thinking?
the f*** are you doing? That could have hit me. No, I'm not okay. I'm scared shitless. You f***ing dropped a light on me, you dumb f***ing piece of shit. Get out! Get the f*** out! It really makes you appreciate everything. Smart master, and he made me this color so that I may talk. Squirrel! This is a tie, plain and simple. Wally nails the look of an abandoned earth, a disheveled earth, a Zoe disheveled. The mountains of trash, the layers of pollution, and the cartoonish nature of the humans are spot on. Up is colorful and has a subtle feature that makes it stand out. The square nature of things adds an overall demeanor of our hero Clark. The details on the fabric, the shine of the balloons, the realistic aerial shots of cities and fields are almost photorealistic at times. Action is the low point of both movies. They didn't need action. I mean, I mentioned the dogfighting sequence. Pixar's music is once again in top form with these two soundtracks. Wally composer Thomas Newman, known for work on films like The Shawshank Redemption, I don't know why I did this, and Finding Nemo, gives us short yet touching songs throughout. A blend of modern computer synths combined with classic instruments fit perfectly to the tone of the movie. As good as those songs are though, they don't quite reach the level Up does. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Michael Giacchino, Michael Giacano, Michael Pinocchio, I don't know how to say his name. 1920s to 30s harmonies take us on a journey through his life and keep with the theme of a lifelong love. It's simply beautiful. It's simply perfect. It's simply irresistible. She's so fine, there's no telling where the money went. Simply irresistible. Wally and Up are still the most touching Pixar films to date. The question is, which one touches you best? That didn't sound right. Leave a comment in the comments section and click the subscribe button if you like to click on subscribe buttons. More than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds. So Janice just left, she's just gonna leave this shattered pile of shit on the floor for me to step on, cut my feet up like John McClane from Die Hard.